and our concern before was draining this account too right. low. That but, was my question. But if there's the reimbursement aspect of it where it's basically a line which would be drawn and replenished, drawn and replenished, uh, it wouldn't um, have as much effect on the account as if we were given a straight loan for 10, 20 years. Right. There's there's no concern. There's roughly three and a half million in that account right now. We could we could keep uh, it afloat even if it goes to the full one and a half million. It will be a short term loan. Um, out of the water fund. Out of the water. Yes. I, thank you. How out would the, that the impact? Water supply fund. How would that impact other projects that might want to borrow from that fund there's as well? Three and a, I'm sorry. There's three and a half million after those other projects are. Uh, are the other projects that have been been approved by the board certainly until it gets completely replenished it, there could be a, a cash flow issue in that okay because i don't know what um we've talked with pine grove csd i don't know what their status is they're looking at other sources of funding too but is that going to impact them too good we don't have anything finalized with them yet uh, uh i don't think we have an agreement with them they, they just came and talked about it so but there would still be even if if uh, JBID takes out the full one and a half million, we'd still have a uh, almost two million left in that account. Okay. Well, and again, oh, I'm sorry. Question. Question I'd have, uh, Steve, is I don't recall if you said when when you're expecting to have it done by. I know what you have. How long you want the loan tail? Like 2020. The the contractor has till September of 2019. So the, the duration of the funding agreement goes to 2020. That's why I'm asking for the, the bridge right. loan to extend that term so everything can get just good. But again, it would. He has till, oops, I'm sorry. Sorry. He has till September 2019 to get done. The, the contractor does, yes. Why an additional year? Because our, our funding. Get the payment, payment back. From, because um, <clears throat> the contractor may have change orders to extend the project into that following year. Uh, right now, we've had to size the project back down into our funding. Our hopes is that we could come in under budget, and if the contractor does decide to extend the project for any reason, he can go into the following year. The funding agreement is set for a three-year term, and that's what goes to 2020. I so would, I would th like to thank you for the memo you did. It's very well done. So oh, thanks. A lot of very helpful. And I am reassured that you will be constantly replenishing the the money that you borrow. <laughs> yeah, I think we have a good history of, of how the Prop 50 funds worked with the 500,000. This is just on a larger scale. Right. His credit ratings are good with us, so it's worked out well at this point. Okay. So, so typically you would pay back on a monthly basis to the fund or? We don't have a set time. It's when the invoices all finally, so I gather all the invoices. Right. And I don't necessarily always use the bridge loan for all the invoices, okay. just the large ones. Um, employee, employee reimbursement, we cover that ourselves. But this is just the large sum items. Uh, for example, the contractor, I anticipate uh, he's going to probably request maybe a two hundred and fifty to $500,000 um, initial invoice here after he got his mobilization and everything on. So right now, that bridge loan is, is going to be stressed out at, at 500000 Right, and then Chuck, you said there's two million in in excess. Yeah, there's there's about three and a half in there right now. So if we take we if he's fully extended, then we still have two million left. Okay. You know, one thing I'd like to say, I think there's been times in the past where I think this board has received some flack from people why we've kept a reserve like this, why not spend it on yada yada yada. But look at the projects we funded with it. I think it's been a very good mechanism. To benefit uh, people this county it's uh, really helped JVID it's either this or a bank uh, we don't have these type of reserves unfortunately well, the, to be well, able to float a project this big for water development right yeah water, this, water this water is I think the, natural fit. the exact purpose of it. Water. Yeah. Um, to kind of appease uh, Supervisor Onetto's comment if, if we shorten up the project and we don't need the bridge loan I'd be willing to abandon the bridge loan when it's not needed that'd be good yeah I think i'm this, just uh, i don't like coming back here all every two years right give me some wiggle. don't we're so <laughs> well, friendly this, this is account, i think the third time this account has shown its value over and over again and i think the process of um, 
utilizing some of the money and then letting the account recharge and uh, getting to a point where we can then loan out to another project. It's just it, it's um, a good way to operate and uh, they'll have a lot of money in the bank for future projects and, and uh, help the whole county. Yep. And just to um, kind of make point, we do have a couple other loans that we have a conservation loan out of the, the water development fund that should be coming to an end, I believe, this year. Um, that should be repaid back. Our FEMA um, OES loan that we requested, uh, we haven't pulled from that yet. Uh, we're seeing how much uh, those projects are going to cost us. We have to go through what they call a FERC analysis, the Federal Energy <laughs> Regulatory Commission. And uh, that takes anywhere from 60 to 90 days to review our projects because of post Orville consequences so um, we really appreciate the the consideration and the ability to pull from this how much was that FEMA loan um, 200 and or was it 250,000 all right yeah. yeah okay okay I all right do I oh, any members of the public do I have any public here <laughs> I've moved to approve the uh, two actions I'm not, I'm not gonna restate them so. okay so, all the oh. uh, just to be yes. clear um, I mean, it sounds like they w would like to process this as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, I have invoices that I could submit this month. And so, if the so this is an this is basically an amendment to an existing loan, just changing the term and okay. the the cap and the amount. Yeah. So, if the board wanted, uh, you could approve these two changes today. Uh, direct staff to prepare the amendment and then authorize the chair or or the CAO or whoever you want to delegate that to to sign it and then that way we won't have to wait until the next meeting okay Up that would be board. my action then with the chair to, to sign I'd second that okay all those in favor of the motion please say aye aye, aye. aye. any opposed okay thank you for that comment there Greg. you have it I hope you, thank learned, you. learned a lot today I, yeah, the three hours. Have you I was been here. here the whole time? Oh. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. All right. Next item. Okay, we're at item six H. Uh, possible discussion, possible action relative to approval of the amendments to sections two point six eight point zero two zero and 2.68025 and 2.68030 of Chapter 2.68 of the Amador County Code as it relates to salaries and benefits of the Amador County elected officials. Uh, suggested action, waive reading, and schedule for adoption at the next board meeting. Supervisors is directed by uh, the board at the last meeting. Uh, we have pr uh, prep prepared a, uh, an ordinance uh, for you and it, that grants the uh, the two percent and the one percent that uh, the electeds had requested uh, in front of you as the uh, draft ordinance uh, it's up to you as to what you'd like to do but typically the we would waive the reading and schedule for adoption on May 22nd or the following meeting um, I move to accept the recommendation of waiving the reading and schedule the adoption of the ordinances on May 22nd 2018. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Okay, crew, crew seconds. Um, I just want to make one comment before we vote, and that is, and I think it was stated when we talked about this last time, it just seems kind of goofy to me that, that uh, we're approving uh, step increases for Longevity. Longevity, thank you. That's the word I couldn't find. Uh, longevity increases for officials that are actually elected by the public, but whatever. It's here, it's in here. <laughs> so. In lo along that line, I think I voted no on the last time, so I'm gonna vote no this time. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Okay. Thank you, it, it's passed. My reason for voting no was um, I wasn't against the, uh, the increases like other employees got. Um, I didn't, I don't, I don't like the longevity increases. Um, I will say our elected officials don't do a, a very good job. Nothing against them, but that's just, just where I was. Okay. Okay. 
So item 6I, discussion of possible action relative to county administrative officer's contract to grant the same 2% and 1% salary increases that have been received by various other units. Uh, supervisors, this is my contract. This is the, uh, uh, the same raises that uh, the rest of the management unit got, uh, as well as rank and file, and the one that we've got uh, a tentative agreement with uh, law enforcement on. Um, and uh, the draft agreement is uh, before you here uh, for your uh, waiting for your approval. If any, can we do the same? Back? Waive the reading and schedule it for. <laughs> this is an employment contract for the CAO, so you yeah. can approve it. We can approve oh, it we now. We can just approve it yeah. now, okay. All right. I just get paid via contract. I'm not ordinance because I'm not an elected official. Right. I'd make a motion we approve the contract for the CAO, the I'll new employment. And we have a second by Onetto. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Very good. Minutes, review, and possible approval of the April 24th Board of Supervisors meeting minutes. Who to approve the minutes with um, minor corrections. I've already, sub I've already submitted those. Oh, okay. Typos, right? yeah. oh, okay. I'd second that. Very good. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So let's finish up our closed session and items three, four, and five. And thank you, everybody, for being here. Oh, you know, um, one thing I'd I like to, I guess, can we go back to minutes for a second? On we already approved yeah. them, but. Uh, Greg, can we go back to minutes? Um, I think there should be a clarification in those minutes. Uh, maybe it doesn't have to be. But on page 10, when we did the SB1 project list adoption, I'm sure there'd be a note, I saw a note there that's made clear um, by the CAO and the Board of Supervisors that this project list is a, is a proposed list and can be changed by the Board of Supervisors. That be uh, otherwise, people look at these minutes and say, "Hey, this is your action. Why did you change, you know, the, the list?" Would that be helpful, or anything? you can put that in there if you want. The uh, all actions by the board are subject to change. You know, nothing's ever written in stone. Uh, okay. Well, I'll I'll withdraw, I'll withdraw my. Do we, do we need a motion? No, nope, I'm I'm fine. 